So we had a request from our number one fan. Mm -hmm. Most of you might recognize or know her as Sugar Rebel 2. She loves all the glamorous, you know, the places we go, the hikes we do, all the fun stuff. But her request was, I want to see the down and dirty, how you live every day in the RV, how you make it work. So, Sugar Rebel, here you go. <laughs> um, so, Mike works part-time. So this is where the rocket science happens. Yeah, so he's, he, he works, I mean, he works a lot actually. So, um, so this is where we sit. We never see each other when we're eating. <laughs> we use a collapsible um, dish bowl to do dishes. Um, and it actually works fantastic. It's one thing I haven't changed since we started. So it works out really well. So the storage under the sink um, we use quite a bit and I've changed a lot of things since we started um, RVing. So um, Mike put on, um, um, I don't know what they're called. What are they called? They're just heavier poles. Heavier um, poles. So yeah, because you really have to give it a tug. And why? Well, because we would go somewhere and then all of the drawers would be open, um, which is not really good for the drawer system. So he put these on. I mean, it's kind of hard to pull, but you know it works. But um, so I put my put this long uh, clear storage thing in here, and it works. To keep these things, I've got four bowls, some uh, paper goods, and these these have been really good. I've tried different things, but they've been really good. And I use these a lot when I'm preparing food. So I'll put like fish. In, I'll cover it with aluminum foil so I can just throw the foil away. Um, and so I can season fish or season chicken or whatever we're doing and then I can put like the vegetables in a, a another one uh, and then I can set it right there or I can give my one to take out to the grill and then um, he can bring this one uh, for when he's taking something up but I use these a lot um, uh, so we've got ziplocs all right so I've told I've told Sugar Rebel about what I use to cook with. So I have two pots. Dutch oven. Iron skillet. Little bit of dog hair. That's it. That's it. Um, I when we started, I carried a lot more things, um, but it just wasn't worth. It. it took up a lot of space. I'd have to go under the bed to get stuff out, and I can I can cook anything I want to cook with what I've got. And if I'm, if we're wanting something that I can't cook, well, we just need to go find a five-star restaurant somewhere because it's not like we're, you know, not near a five-star restaurant or just a fantastic place to eat because often we are. We eat at home a lot and I cook a lot, but I'm not carrying a, I'm not carrying around a, a house, a sticks and bricks kitchen with me when we're traveling it's just it's just not feasible so all right uh okay um this is all the dog stuff underneath um well i say mostly dog stuff i've got some shoes you don't understand how many shoes you need until you're 
in an RV and you're trying to pack for summer, spring, winter, fall, I mean boots and flip-flops and sandals and I mean you need a lot of shoes and it's terrible and right behind Mike we have another stash of shoes so So there you go. Shoes. Gotta have them. So this is where um, I kind of keep camera equipment, um, you know, just stuff. I mean, when you're going on trips to Glacier and uh, into Utah and the five big parks there, you want a camera to take pictures. And so, unfortunately, you have to store it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's just not a magical, oh, yeah, I want it now, and then, you know, it disappears. So, you have to store it somewhere. So, there you go. This is all Mike's junk. Yeah, we probably shouldn't open it. <laughs> so, Sugar Rebel asked us about food also. So, um, we don't keep a lot of food. So, here's where we keep, like, bread, chips peanuts, whatever, um, and then we also keep our vitamins and Tylenol and whatever in here, and this has been a really big deal, like these little bags, uh, getting rid of all of the packaging for, you know, for medication and stuff, so it minimizes, the, you know, what you need for space, so. All right, dishes. When we started, I had a lot of different things. <laughs> now, so I've got my paper goods here. Um, this has been an amazing piece thing to keep the, to keep dishes in, to stand them up. So, um, it's really helped a lot because I, I did have them laying down when we first started and that did not work. Um, but, we do use a French press and um, every morning and these are just plastic so but we don't we keep two and if our kids are here we just use plastic so um, I keep my silverware here we only have four forks so four spoons four knives that's it um, all of the little stuff, um, you know, pizza cut or whatever, um, is in these little containers, and this holds, you know, things. And then I've got tongs and other stink, other things right there. So and this is our coffee supply, um, right here. Um, I, I do like these. These came from, they fit in pretty good right here in this space. They came from contain, container store. And then this is where I just keep cleaning supplies. Uh, ha, and the oven. Um, it's, I mean, it's not very big. So, it's not very big. So, I store stuff in it sometimes, and I don't use it a lot. Um, when you live small in an Airstream, uh, you kind of have to get rid of stuff. Like, when we first started, I brought my cheesecake pan, my springform pan, um, muffin tins. Then I realized they wouldn't fit in my oven. So, I had a lot of trips to Goodwill. Um, so now if we are in a cool area that has a pastry place or something, then I go, you know, we go have muffins or pastries or croissants. We had croissants this morning. I don't make them. I can make them. 
but I don't because I have a little tiny oven. So, um, and then up here I keep baking soda for cleaning, tea, Mike cereal, some noodles. This is sugar that I've had in there for, we don't use sugar. We don't use sugar, so it's been in there for probably a year. <laughs> I don't know, longer. Um, refrigerator. It has a lot of Gatorade in it right now, but the reason is because Mike has been sick. Um, but, I mean, I keep cheese in a container, eggs in here. Um, I put my, I clean my carrots and I put them in water and a Ziploc and lettuce and um, fruit. That's it. The freezer's tiny, tiny, tiny. One little thing of Ben and Jerry's and some mahi, tilapia. Okay, so we have a microwave. Our um, unit, our rig came with a microwave. I don't really care for it, um, but we do use it, so. So this is our pantry, and a lot of times I'll take this out if I need something from behind. Sit it on the countertop. And then get what I need from back here. Now, all of this is just stuff that, all of this is stuff that I don't use very often, or it's a replacement. So like I've got tea, tea, um, and oatmeal, you know, just stuff like that. So. Oh, this is fantastic actually. I have all my spices right here. And it fits perfectly in this space. And then I use gloves a lot because sometimes we don't have water. <laughs> and um, if I can just keep my hands clean and like if I'm working with chicken or something, then I can take my gloves off and I don't have to wash all the time. I can just remove my gloves. So. Okay, so we have a second, another pantry area. All right, so love these cookies, but um, so I have like chia seeds, flax seeds, nuts, nuts. I do love these cookies. Um, bars for when we are on a trail um, but I have everything divided up all right okay so Mike did this for me so initially this was just a bar and then these two shelves the amount of clothes you can hang here is not that many, but if you do have the shell, you can have you can store a lot of stuff. So, um, so we've got our actually our sleeping bags behind here, and um, so I've got my towels here. I mean, I've got my got my purses right here. So, um, okay, so towels. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then a hair thing got five towels in this one little small container. When we started out, I had towels here, 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 and there was only like four towels and some washcloths, but they were from our house, and so they were these wonderful, luxurious towels that, <laughs> I mean, they filled up that whole space. Well, you need the space more than you need luxurious towels, so, so I did, we, these aren't cheap, but we chose to use these and not get that warm fuzzy feeling when you get out of a shower um, and you can hang them up to dry and they dry really quick so i do like those towels so um, we have our clothes in here um, the things we use most often up front and then the things we don't use in the back so depend upon what season because we full time we need spring summer winter fall so that's 
what we have here. And I do have, have some more camera equipment down here, but but this has been a big deal. This has given us a lot of storage. Okay, shower. Shower. I'm gonna step inside so you can see how luxurious our shower is. So if I'm washing my hair, I kinda of have to turn this way because my arms will hit the door this way. So it's pretty tight. I mean, it's, it's pretty tough, but it's sufficient. It gets you clean, so. All right, so this these are the states that we've done so far. Next year, we will do all of these. And then we just have this midsection. So our rule, our rule on travel is we have to spend at least three days in a state well, three nights to put the st state on our map. Now, our grandson Henry says, as soon as you make the the uh, plane reservation, put the sticker on. Okay, our bathroom's pretty tight. Um, can come in. Um, I can stand here. Mike can show you the footprint. So these are my feet right here. And right there is the door, okay? So it's pretty small. Um, it's sufficient, it works. Um, so these, um, these have been fantastic. So I'll give you the first aid thing. You can get these at a container store. And I got these when we first started. I'm so glad. Um, they've worked perfectly. And here's some more of those little tiny bags. So I don't have, um, you know, I don't, I don't have all that packaging in here. They, they just so slim. So, um, but I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fit. And it's fantastic. And then I wanted something similar for right here. Um, but I just, I ordered these from Amazon. So I've got my, this is my makeup what I use for makeup every day. And then toothpaste, Mike's, I don't know what Mike has in here, but this is his, and I don't even know, I don't know what's in here either, but um, contacts, sunscreen. So, um, this is a super duper air filter very glad we have it and it's worth climbing over so and that is hank hey hank all right so here's our laundry bag for dirty laundry um when i go to the laundry to do do our laundry <laughs> i use these and they fit right beside the bed so um, these are, I think they're called Clever Made. So they work pretty good. Um, and I keep a few things that I can pull out right there. And this goes all the way back. It's, it's just a, it's a clear container from the container store, but it goes it goes all the way back, and it allows me to store a bunch of stuff. So we never use this TV except for drying my flip belt um, after running, and um, of course we have command hooks for hats, jacket. I wore my jacket this morning here in uh, Ure because I was cold, so had it. Um, I'll let Mike tell you about his side. Okay, so this is my side. Um, Kim mentioned the Dyson um, vacuum earlier, so the plug is inside the bathroom. Um, this, is the, this is the Dyson, so it charges here and all the attachments. Um, mine's a little junkier than Kim's. I've got a backpack, I've got a jacket, a uh, sw swimsuit. Haven't used that lately, but um, bike helmets, hat, uh, brooms, and then I've 
Um, got caught in the rain several times, so I've got my muck boots. They don't really have a good place to go, so they stay in the corner. Hank uh, is okay uh, sleeping near them. And I've got the same setup on my side. Um, I keep mostly my fly fishing stuff in mine, so. Uh, and then we've got cabinets over the bed. Um, I think Kim has clothes in hers. She'll show you hers. Um, I've got stuff that I don't use a whole lot. So, we, so it's our backpack. So we do use that some, but it's pretty large, and so it's we just put it away. But I've got some fly fishing stuff. I've got extra hats and ski helmet and some stuff that I really don't use that often. So. Um, but again, Kim's got them organized in these containers, I think, that came from Container Store. As you've noticed, we use Container Store quite a lot. Um, and then here's, here's Kim's. Um, yeah, she's got clothes. So under the bed, um, we, we have a lot of storage. So there's these three sections, which I'll come back to. Um, that's all our stuff inside the RV. But if you look very closely, um, more toward the head of the bed, so from this wall out, this is actually space. Uh, it used to be storage space that could be accessed um, from outside. There's a compartment door. Um, but we gave up that storage space when we redid our power system, um, we put in solar and, and lithium batteries. Um, so this is all of our inverter charger, controller, all that stuff. So we gave up that storage, but we have a really good power system now. So back to the inside storage. Um, gosh, we've got everything from snow ski boots to luggage to extra blankets, um, to portable water bags when we're boondocking. Shoes. <laughs> More shoes. shoes. More shoes. I think we have been wearing jackets all year except for three months. So June, July, and August is the only time we haven't had to wear uh, warm clothes to stay warm in so so these are warm clothes more warm clothes more warm clothes shoes um and then vests uh, blankets now i took i took down the curtains that we have two we're supposed to have two dividers we're supposed to have two dividers a divider here and a divider right through there, right here. Let me step over Hank. So a divider here. Well, we have dogs. And so the bottom part of the white uh, curtain would just be nasty. So we took them down at, because to, you can clean them, you can wash them, but you have to take down, you have to unscrew these and take down the frame to hold the curtains up. You know, it's just not, not good for the rig, so anyway. So we took them down. Now, our Airstream came with um, plastic tubs in here, which were great, um, but these worked better. These are just from Target and they're, they're felt and they're pretty thick felt and so they're pretty sturdy. Whoosh pretty sturdy and, and so you can just kind of fill them up and it they gave a little bit more than like the plastic so I, I, I bought three for each side and then this is this is just the luggage and stuff so all right so in the morning when the dogs uh, need food um, we put their bowls right here and this is where all of their food is. I mean, we have two big dogs, so we need a big storage container. And we use this in our house, and we just transferred it over here. 
and it works. I mean, I, I would never trade this for anything. Um, but it's got the scooper in the top. It's a simple human, um, but we had it, uh, again, we had it in our house, so we just transferred it over, and it fits fine, and I don't mind climbing over it. So we scoop their dog food out and put it in their bowls. And this one's Hank's because he gulps his food down, so it's a puzzle bowl. This one's Lucy's. He did have a Yeti, you know, fancy one, and it's underneath the cabinet because uh, because it tears his stomach up. So he needs the puzzle bowl instead of gulping up all of his food in one second. So anyway, um, okay. Oh, um, so this is a stone mat. Um, you can buy, I think I got it like Bed Bath & Beyond when they were going out of business, but, okay. So when we get out of the shower, we use that instead of a cloth mat that we have to take to a laundromat or, um, you know, hang up to dry or take outside to dry. Um, it just dries right there on the floor. Okay, so as soon as you come into the rig, um, it, you, we have a, a space for the trash can. Um, okay, um, and we use these every day, every time we take the dogs out, um, and I broke one off and had to replace it, but, um, so our dog wishes, the, um, double cord, this is the one that I run with, uh, when I run the dogs, and they're all excited because they think they're, they think I'm touching them to, to put them on them so they want to go for a walk or a run and uh, I guess we need to do that. So this little space above the TV, I don't know what it's for but it wasn't real useful. <laughs> I didn't think but we can <clears throat> we do use it. I've got sunglasses uh, right here and then I've got the dogs uh, um, dog bags and then their medication and of course we've got hats and you know so yeah behind Mike is is kind of a supply area for our dogs um, so we've got their brush some bags so you don't have to come all the way back into into the rig to grab bags when you forget them so if you look Hank is in the floor and a lot of times we have two so Most of the time we have two dogs that we're stepping over, especially if I'm cooking. Hey, Luce. Hey, girl. So, um, Lucy and Hank, this is, this is our home. Um, it's small, but it works, right? Right? Small, but it works.